Um, I remember I had my first virtual reality experience at my you know, friend's apartment in Brooklyn where I was with a bunch of filmmakers and we saw this terrible animated roller coaster experience and right away I was like, this is gonna change everything for you know, film, for, for movies, for entertainment. Little Star was founded on the fact that we couldn't find any experiences. And so we wanted to make it easy to discover the best of this content. And we wanted to make it easier for content owners to distribute this stuff far and wide. I think at that time, there was <clears throat> you know, a lot of panoramic photographers that were creating this sort of content that you know, they were great technically, but they didn't know, you know anything about how to tell story or how to get their content out there. And you know, we saw that as an opportunity to build a distribution network and a platform to service all these creators that were creating this you know, content and pushing this new medium forward. We're in the early days it was very much just stick a camera in a room and capture everything and now it's um, thinking about how you light in 360 and all different kinds of techniques like if you're going to shoot the full 360 everybody has to be out of the room <laughs> you can't have any crew in there you can't have any of that stuff so it's really a new language that's had to develop and it's it's taken some time the biggest unique selling point about Little Star is our wide distribution. The challenge with that is keeping everything consistent and a great user experience across every platform, whether it's the web, mobile, VR, TV. It's an interesting and exciting challenge to design for the platform and try and keep the essence of Little Star at the core of that. Little Star is available on the web, mobile, iOS, and Android. Also will be available on uh, Oculus Rift and HTC Vive. Gear VR, um, global launch partner with PlayStation uh, in October. It's a pretty rigorous process to get your hands on one of these and develop for the PlayStation platform. So we feel super lucky that we're one of the companies that has that opportunity. But we have some content on the PlayStation. This is actually running in the PlayStation right now. And uh, this is the Red Foo video from, uh, for Lights Out. And so um, I'm looking to one end of the, of the tour bus. And as I turn around, I can see the other end of the tour bus. And it feels like I'm sitting in the middle of this conversation. The footprint on these might be pretty small initially. That's going to grow over time. And in the meantime, we can show that same piece of content on a huge number of devices. We stayed laser focused on being a distribution platform. And still to this day, that is our primary focus and goal is to be a distribution platform and a consumer destination. And along the way, people you know, tried to change that and we just stuck to our guns and said, no, this is working. We're out in the space. The community believes in us. They're behind us. And we just, we never got off that track. All the right people were all in the right place at the right time. And you can't deny that. It's like one of those forces of nature that when all of that stuff comes together and it seems right, then you move on it instead of overthinking it and saying, well, we need to be in San Francisco. So, you know, because we're gonna be a tech company in VR. Like that didn't even cross our minds. It was a no brainer to set up shop in New York. Any new entrepreneurs that are coming out into either a new market or, you know, just creating a company from scratch, get ready for a lot of hard work. There's no overnight success. Nobody's gonna tell you to answer the phone or answer that email or get up for work. It's up to you to make it happen.